Hi, my name is Steve Hayes. I'm from Winona, Minnesota. Uh, I have a consulting business called Day One Technology, and all I do is cabs. I cover the whole country, and right now we're in, it's February, and uh, we're in a Wisconsin barn. Uh, this is a maternity pen area, and a recently born calf in the last uh, 10 to 12 hours is, is next to me here, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about calves. And how can producers protect their calves from the risks that you're speaking about? What products and kind of other key management steps are important? Well, uh, we've all heard it and we've heard it a lot of times, but mother's colostrum is as good as there is when it comes to transferring the antibodies from the cow into the calf. The calf isn't born with any antibodies and it needs to get it through colostrum from the cow. So that's certainly the, the most important thing that we can do. There are other products on the market. There's vaccines we can give to calves. It takes those vaccines a while because the calf has to actively uh, respond to the vaccine to make the antibodies which will then fight the disease. There's also passive transfer system products. Uh, First Defense would be one example of those that come already with antibodies that are uh, protecting the calf immediately uh, against diseases, in that case, uh, E. coli and coronavirus. So, there's supplemental products that can be used, and it's, especially if you're having any problems, uh, they can help mother's colostrum. What are five key things producers can do to get their newborn calves off to the right start? Five things uh, to help a calf get off to a good start. Number one is we want to make sure the calf is actually born with as little stress as possible. Uh, life's busy on a dairy farm, and it seems like sometimes we want to um, pull the calf before it's ready, or maybe uh, we don't intervene soon enough. So try to avoid dystocia on a calf when it's born is, is reducing stress, very important. Second thing, and you can kind of see where I'm at here, this is a maternity pen that's very well bedded with long stem straw and it's, uh, it's clean. Uh, the last thing we want is for that calf to end up uh, falling into some manure and being exposed to disease right away. So. A nice clean maternity pen where it can be born and, and there's no issue. The third thing, uh, probably the most important, is to make sure lots of good high quality colostrum goes into that, uh, that calf as soon as possible. Fourth thing is we want to make sure that we have uh, the navel in, uh, is dipped. Uh, the navel is a direct route into the calf uh, for disease to, to go in and we want to get that dipped uh, so that we can protect, prevent disease from happening. And lastly, uh, that calf has been kind of in a hot tub for a long time, and uh, it hasn't had to regulate its body temperature. It's February right now, and that calf comes out, it's sopping wet, and so we want to put that calf someplace where it can warm up, dry off, and be ready. Uh, it, it's got quite a challenge ahead of it to go from inside that cow to uh, a long and prosperous life, and we do that by having a nice location that's clean, dry, comfortable for that calf to dry off and get off to a good start.